फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर आई राइज टू मूव दैट द सिचुएशन अराइजिंग आउट ऑफ डी वैल्युएशन ऑफ द रूपी इन टर्म्स ऑफ द डॉलर बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस मोशन इज एडमिटेडली वन ऑफ ग्रेव इम्पोर्टेंस टू द कंट्री एंड आई एम अवेयर दैट एज मिनिस्टर ऑफ फाइनेंस देयर इज ए स्पेशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी विच रेस्ट अपोन मी इन दिस मैटर I feel Mr Speaker that the best way in which I can discharge this responsibility to the house and to the country is by placing before the house a true clear unvarnished picture of the situation as I see it first of all I would like to acquaint the house with the circumstances which led step by step to the situation with which we are now faced i would like to take the house back to about 4 months ago when on account of the severe drain upon the dollar resources of the countries included in the sterling area there began rumors in europe and particularly in america that it would be impossible for the pound sterling which stands as the master currency of this area to maintain any longer its exchange value these rumors became so strong that it was necessary for the united kingdom to get into consultation with other countries primarily concerned with the dollar currency that is usa and canada regarding the measures necessary for remedying this situation the house is aware that some time last june I was expected to proceed to London to discuss the question of the sterling balance with the British Chancellor of the Exchequer. I was due to have started from Delhi somewhere about the 20th June the official delegation from the country having gone there a little earlier. Then a message came from the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom to our Prime Minister that in view of the severe strain upon the resources of the sterling area the government of the united kingdom felt it necessary to summon a conference of the finance ministers of the commonwealth countries to discuss this problem that conference was scheduled to take place sometime in the first week of july and in consultation with the prime minister therefore I decided to postpone my visit to London until early in July. The Commonwealth Ministers Conference took place about the end of the first week of July in 1958. We sat for 3 days and we considered the measures which should be taken by the countries included in the sterling area to increase our dollar resources. and to reduce our expenditure of dollar various resolutions were framed at this conference and the whole idea of the conference was that the resolutions passed at that conference were to provide the basis on which the british chancellor of the exchequer so to speak the managing agent of the sterling area was to hold talks later in the year sometime in september with the us treasury and with the canadian government it is an important point to remember and i should like to lay some stress on it that the commonwealth ministers conference prepared the brief on which the washington talks were to be based and i won't further to draw the attention of the house to the fact that in the whole of that brief prepared by the commonwealth ministers conference there was no reference to the subject of devaluation that subject was not discussed at the conference there was not even so much as a reference to the subject at the conference then came the talks in washington in september the talks at washington are between the british chancellor of the exchequer 
the US Secretary of the Treasury and the Minister of Finance of the Canadian government. The Commonwealth countries were not represented in this conference. The understanding was that the British Chancellor of the Exchequer would argue the case for the sterling countries on the short note prepared by the Commonwealth Minister's Conference. I may say incidentally that in view of the great importance of these talks in relation to our finances and the general economy of our country, the Government of India felt it necessary to direct Mr. Chintaman Desmukh, who is now our representative in matters of external finance in Europe and America, to proceed to Washington some time before these talks began, so as to be present there in the capacity of an informal observer. From public statements which have been made, I understand that before the British Chancellor of the Exchequer and the British Foreign Minister went to Washington, apparently a decision had been taken to devalue the pound sterling. The next stage to which I want to carry these preliminary observations is that the first information that we received here regarding the decision of the UK government to devalue the pound sterling was contained in a message which was sent by Mr. Attlee to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. We had to see the repercussions of devaluation of the British currency. Stop.